In this video, we'll be talking about every WWA superstar Triple H brought back after becoming the new head of creative of WWA. This year, Dexter Loomis was released in April 2022 by former WWE Chairman Vince McMahon. He was later on re-signed by Triple H and made his return on Monday Night Raw on August 8, 2022. Loomis kidnapped The Miz during a tag team match. Loomis showed up at Miz's residence the following week when he conducted an interview over last week's incident. Braun Strowman returned to WWE on September 5, 2022, after being released on June 2021. Strowman returned to WWWA and attacked every single competitor in a fatal four-way tag team match. On the August 22, 2022, two episode of Raw, Gargano made his return after nearly nine months since leaving WWE to give a speech but was interrupted and mocked by Theory, his former stablemate back in N. He wrestled against Chad Gable, winning by pinfall, but was attacked by Theory. On the August 5 episode of SmackDown, Scarlett, alongside Karrion Cross, returned to WWE WWE by attacking Drew McIntyre at the conclusion of the show. Both of them were released on November 4, 2021. On the September 23 episode of SmackDown, McIntyre challenged Cross to a strap match at Extreme Rules, which he accepted. At the event on October 8, Cross defeated McIntyre. Dakota Kai was released by WWE on April 29, 2022. On July 30, 2022, Kai re-signed with WWE and returned at SummerSlam alongside Bailey and Io Sky, for merely Io Shirai, with the three being allied. On the August 12, 2022 episode of SmackDown, Hit Row without Scott made their return as fan favorites, where Top Dollar and Ashanti the Adonis, alongside B Fab, defeated two local competitors. On the May 24 episode of NXT, Vignettes aired promoting the debut of Aikner, repackaged as Giovanni Vinci. On September 3 at Clash at the Castle, Vinci appeared alongside Gunther and Ludwig Kaiser, with Kaiser announcing the reformation of Imperium. In September 2020, 2WW began playing an A cappella version of White Rabbit by Jefferson Airplane at live events and during commercial breaks of televised shows, while also hiding cue codes in various locations on episodes of Raw and SmackDown. Each code led to special websites containing imagery, minigames, and riddles that were all seemingly connected to the upcoming Extreme Rules event. At the closure of the event on October 8, 2022, Bray Wyatt officially returned to WWE, accompanied by live action versions of his Firefly Fun House characters, revealing himself as the person behind the White Rabbit teasing. Wyatt also showcased a new mask, indicating another persona change. 